Hello goat lovers, this is Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and we have had a lot of um, questions as far as what we have done with the yard so a lot of people have been wanting a farm update so it's been kind of a, a changing, a lot of changes actually have been going on we got all of our goats out of the backyard which is awesome we have figured out where we want them to go so they are all set up you know, in their pens, uh, still close to the house, but but just not in our backyard, right on top of us. So that's that's quite a big change that we love. We have a garden going, um, or at least we are working on getting the garden going. We have some sprouts um, so that we can get back to our gardening. We used to actually do some homesteading, if you would, and then I had to get a full-time job. Um, well, rather my kids went to school, all of them were in school at that point, so I, I decided to get a job. And at one point we were actually, we had a lot of chickens um, that we did butcher and we even sold some. We would raise as chicks and then sell as pullets and, and hens. And we had ducks and goats and we would use the milk and make cheese and ice cream. Um, and we just, we had a large garden. Um, so most, a lot of our food came straight from our yard and straight from what we grew with no pesticides or anything like that. So uh, we, we really want to get back to that. So that's what we're working on here and I'll show you guys around. So this is the area that we are keeping our goats and our chickens. Um, it is still very close to the house so that we don't have to not see them or anything like that. We don't have them over the hill because we are on ten and a half acres, but I still do like them to be close. So this pin here is, um, we have the little ones in here now and there's there's big old little bit over there. She's She was feeling a little off. This is going to be where we have our birthing stall, so we're going to section it off so they each get their own little stall to get comfortable in, and that will be very soon. And then up this way um, is another pen that we added for breeding purposes, or whatever purpose we come across. Currently, um, there's a little Merle. Currently, these new does that we bought, Anna and Elsa, um, I do believe Elsa here, the white girl, is bred, but Anna was not. So I wanted to make sure she got bred. She's almost two years old, and I don't want her to go any longer without being bred. So we are breeding her to our pretty boy Merle. And then up in this pen is our larger doe pen. I don't know what they got scared about, but we keep them in here at night and, you know, on the days that we're home and around, they get to graze, graze around, but we got a nice little pen. And here is our chickies. So they're about five months old now. Let's see. Over this way is our bucks. This is currently our buck pen. We wanted to have them with the other does, or, or at least close to the close to the does, but not so close that you know they're right up along the fence with them. So it works out a lot better having them separated, um, where their pens aren't right up along each other. Before we just had an acre, so there wasn't you know much opportunity to really to really have them separated too far. So it does work better down here. <laughs> Say hi, Lucky. Hey, champ. So this is our backyard that we actually got back from the goats. They were all back here along, along the outside of the fence, just pins set up back here, but um, that was just temporary. It was a quick fix. And now they're gone. So that's awesome. And over here, we actually have 
some seedlings going. So, um, things are starting to sprout. Not too much. We got some herbs, we got some tomatoes, and we got some squash, peppers, all the real good stuff. This is one of our compost piles. Um, I'd say about four weeks now it's been stewing. You can already tell that it's getting turning into soil and it's hot. So we'll use that for our garden. But what we did is just raked all the stuff up here from where the pens were and put it into a pile. Now over here, I am super excited about this is going to be our garden dome. So it's actually made out of all recycled material. Um, it's not going to be the most eye appealing dome, but I don't really care. It's going to be beautiful to me because we're going to have vegetables growing out of here and we won't have to go to the store to get most of them anymore. So that'll be our little walkway. And then in here is just compost. Look at that beautiful dirt. So that's the other half of the compost pile. And this, this one brewed for about three, three months. So now that we can have compost piles and don't worry about the neighbors with our 10 and a half acres rather than the one and neighbors pretty close, we are excited. This is gonna be really cool. I can't wait until it's completed. So there you go guys, that's the update on, on all the changes we've made to the yard here just recently. Uh, we're gonna do a lot more homesteading. That is what we wanna veer towards. So we're working hard on that um, in between working full time. So it's a little bit of a slow process, but we're starting to get there. And we will be posting those videos, you know, of the garden and, and milking the goats and making cheese and all of that stuff. So we can't wait, I'm getting really excited for it. and. Hope to see you guys here watching with us so please like and subscribe and if you have any questions please ask